Hi, I'm back with another update to my splat map shader for my vertex tool set. Uh, somebody had asked on the internet for uh, uh, sort of a standard landscape trick, which is uh, when you get far away, sometimes things look very tiley, so what you can do is you can blend the texture into itself uh, with a different UV scale. Uh, and so I've got a sort of exaggerated example here. Um, but as I zoom out, you'll see that this texture begins to interpolate uh, to a larger scale texture. Uh, in a real game, you'd probably have this further out. Um, but the way this works is that you can turn on this UV scale in distance option here. And once you do that, you get a minimum uh, distance from the camera at which the blend starts and a maximum distance at which the blend finishes to control the range of the blend. And then all your textures will be sampled uh, twice. Uh, the second one will have this other UV scale here. So this diff distance UV scale is multiplied by whatever your actual resulting UV scale is from the uh, texture scale. So if you've tiled your texture twice and then you say 0.5, you're gonna end up with a scale of one. Um, and so every texture can provide its own UV scale. Uh, and then uh, this uh, doubling of samples will happen for every texture um, in, in the system. So uh, this can actually be a little bit costly when you uh, have say a five layer splat. Um, it does not actually happen on the flow map uh, because it doesn't seem like uh, that's really necessary to do, and the flow map is uh, sampled twice for the flow effect, um, so that saves a few samples. Uh, but this should let you um, sort of prevent uh, tiling artifacts as you move far away uh, on a piece of landscape. Um, another alternate technique for this uh, would be to do a version of the shader which blends into a separate texture. Um, there's actually a lot of ways to defeat tiling in the distance, but uh, this is a very quick one, and a lot of people seem to like it. Uh, so I added it to the shader, and uh, like all the effects in the shader, if you don't use it, it all compiles out and costs you nothing. Um, so yeah, hope you're enjoying the, uh, the package, and I will uh, probably continue to add uh, things to this as time goes on.